move, or video number five now. So we're making moves, we're making moves. But today I'm gonna to come at you, I'm gonna take you along with me for a day in the life. Uh, no exercise, no training today, so we're gonna show all the things rest day. Um, I'm gonna show you my favorite things to do on a rest day, what I think is really important, and yeah, just a good time in Sydney. As you can see, it's a little bit, well, you probably can't see, it's a little bit chillier now, but still getting into that early morning dip. It's 20 past six, and start of the day off. So come with me, sit back, enjoy. Let's chill. So guys, here we are, Bondi Beach. It's Saturday morning, Easter weekend, and it's a rest day. It may commonly seem like lots of people out there on all social media channels, Instagram, YouTube, or whatever, they're always going. They never have days off, they never rest, and that should mean that you don't rest either. But as I'm sure you're probably aware and you've heard, but you may not believe, rest days are super important, and they are the one-way ticket to success and making gains and allowing your body to deliver session after session, day after day, and actually improve. If you don't take rest days, you're never gonna be able to fully adapt to the training that you've been doing in the first place. So, like I say, rest days are super important. Just like there are on training days, I, I still have a handful of things that I find really help me optimize a rest day. It doesn't just look like sitting on the sofa watching Netflix all day. As fun as that can be for some people, that's just not what I like to do. I had a good idea for this video would be to take you through my sort of go-to activities, actions, habits, behaviors, whatever you want to call them, for a rest day. So team, we made it back and it's breakfast time. And this brings me very nicely onto my first point that I wanna make about rest days in general. My first tip in optimizing your rest days uh, for performance and recovery side of stuff, which is nourish the body. Nourish, I love the word nourish. It just, to me, it completely sounds like it means, if that makes sense. So all too often I see people on their rest days, they'll maybe massively reduce their calorie intake, the food they're eating, because they feel like, because they're not exercising, they don't need it, they don't deserve it, or whatever. But in actual fact, especially if you're someone looking to optimize your performance, your recovery, and all of that, it's almost just as important, if not more important, to make sure that you're getting the calories in from really, really good whole food, natural sources to promote that recovery process, to support your rest day, to allow your body to adapt from a hard week's training and be ready to go into another training session, for example. So like for myself, I've had a really good week of training. So on this rest day, I wanna make sure that my body adapts to all of these sessions that I've done as best as possible. And at the same time is as ready to go as possible for tomorrow's long run. So I'm not gonna reduce my calories at all. I'm gonna stick to the same sort of protocols, making sure I get a really good amount of protein in, really good carbohydrates, and then a little bit of fat just here and there. So quite often is the case, I'm starting my day out with some oats. So team, here we have it. <clears throat> so I've got oats, chocolate, protein, and then some chia seeds in the oats with some peanut butter, some grapes, and then a little bit of granola on top for that crunch. It's full of all the stuff I need. Protein, carbs, bit of fats. Um, I don't track my calories or anything, but I basically aim for 30 to 40 grams of protein in each main meal, and then a couple of higher protein snacks. And then carbohydrate wise, I kind of just go off feel, but I eat plenty, essentially. So yeah, like a Coming back to the first point, nourishing the body on your rest days is extremely, extremely important. I'll continue that theme throughout the video and show you all of my meals today, just to show you that my intake, my calorie intake really doesn't dip or take a dive at all on a rest day. Hopefully, it will leave me feeling 
ready and rare income tomorrow morning for that long run. So I'm going to get this down me, do a little taste test for you. I mean, it's not much going on, but... Yeah, crunch. That granola is like coconut and cacao or something. It's really good. I'm going to shut up now. Catch you soon. There we have it, gang. All packed up, ready to move. So I think I'm going to get an Uber because I've got this bag of food as well, which I didn't have prior, and that's going to be a pain in the ass to carry on the bus. So I will check in at no some point. No and all my bits dropped off at my friend's place. Just gonna jump into tip number two on how to optimize your rest day. Now, as you can probably see and make out, I've not just been sitting on the sofa watching Netflix doing nothing. I've been quite active, quite out and about, moving a lot, and that is exactly what I'd suggest. I'd suggest you stay active, don't take that as go to the gym, go for a run, because that's not what we're doing. We're trying to rest and recover, but if we can keep the body moving nice and gently, keep the blood flow moving around the body, it's only going to help that recovery process. So I will continue to stay active in a controlled manner throughout the rest of the day. Um, and I really find this helps, helps the recovery day in general. I feel if I sit down for hours and hours on end doing nothing, I just feel sluggish, lethargic, and it doesn't really do a whole lot of good for me. So I try and stay active, keep moving, keep steps up, just keep it gentle, keep it light. And I'm confident it's gonna help me come out the other end of the rest day, even more rested and even more recovered. So come with me. I think I've got a bit of a list now. I'm gonna grab a haircut, I think. I was gonna grow my hair, but I look like a bit of an idiot at the moment. So I get a bit of a haircut. That's gonna make me go faster as well, which is obviously guaranteed. And then we're going to go for a bit of a wander around, try and find some bits on the mandatory kit list, grab some nutrition, and then try and scope out a sauna and ice bath situation if possible. And then we'll pop back, grab my bags, move into the new gaff, and go from there. But that's plan of action for late, after, late morning, early afternoon. Let's do it. What's happening? So another little snack stop. Went into the shop to get some water because you know hydration is key, and I'll come on to that later on. Found a pot of mango selection pot on offer, so I couldn't resist. And I grabbed a little protein yogurt pouch as well. So I'm gonna get this down me on my way to the haircut. What a what a combo for the sun, right? Some vanilla yogurt and some juicy mango. No melon, sorry, mango. What am I about? Melon mix, perfect. So a haircut gotted, nothing crazy. I just felt a bit rough around the edges, so I want a bit of a clean up. I'm actually trying to grow the hair out a bit more. So yeah, like I said, nothing crazy. Not like my, my skin fades and buzz cuts in times gone by. So yeah, feeling good. I'm gonna grab a quick coffee and then get onto the rest of my list. Hats back on, because I forgot my sunnies and the sun's shining. What a day, actually, what a day. Look at this. Stunning. A little coffee in the sun. My go-to is a, out here you have to say, a three-quarter small oat flat white, which I believe in London is known as a Cortado, and I found out in Melbourne is known as a Magic, but Magic is double shot, whereas most places in Australia only do single shot, whereas I'm pretty sure in London everywhere is double shot, unless you ask. Hence why, or well, it makes a lot of sense why London's just frantic as hell. Everyone's a lot more relaxed here, <laughs> but very nice. Very nice. Now, if you don't know, I'm a bit of a whore, a brand whore, so this could be an expensive day, unfortunately, for myself. 
But this place has got a sale on, but I don't know if, I don't know if it's swaggy enough. First item, we've got this base layer. I mean, it fits quite nice to be fair. I've given in to the fact that I'm probably not an extra large these days, so I've stopped picking up the extra large thinking that I can fill it out and I've gone large, but as far as base layer goes, it's pretty good. It's got these thumb holes and the sleeves are actually long enough even when you your hands in them. But yeah, we'll see. I might have a scout around before pulling the trigger. Not a bad first shout. Just remembered, after seeing it, another thing on the list is a compass. Because obviously I'll have my Garmin, but I think this is mandatory. Obviously because a Garmin is, it could suddenly turn off for whatever reason. So you have to have a compass. Um, 45 bucks for a compass. I don't even know how to use the thing. I'll put that one on standby for now. We've got head torches over here as well. 60% off head torches. Not bad. Right, I'm gonna have to come back because I'm gonna, I'm gonna wee myself. So I need to find a toilet. I can't think straight. So, changing room number two. Got two items. Got this zip up number and then a base layer. Reason being is I was watching some videos from the race last year and it was three degrees on the start line. I am not ready for three degrees in terms of what I brought with me, so we'll see how these go. So if you can't tell, this is tiny. This is a large as well. So maybe I'm an extra large. Depends on the brand, but yeah, super tiny. Not the one. But then on the other hand, this is a large. It fits quite nicely. Excuse the hood. So unfortunately for me, but probably more fortunately for my bank, that wasn't successful. Shame. But the search continues. I am thinking at the moment I'll head back to that first door, but there's one more that I want to check. So yeah, not all is lost just yet. Next on the list is a dangerous one. Let's see what they got. Shock. So as you can see, I've got a host of items. These Sensnet long sleeves. I think these could be the one because I know they do fit to me well, so hopefully it pulls through. More half tights, more half tights. And then I've got a warmer long sleeve that could be good for the start line. Just a running top, I'm thinking race day vibes. As I said before, I'm definitely not an XL these days. This is the large, way better fit. I think it do what it's meant to do way better. Quite like the grey as well, actually. Quite different. It's got this super cool detailing. So whilst I may not have walked out with anything, that was a very successful trip into Lulu. I think I've found my base layer and potentially my like, warmer outer layer for the start line. But I'm gonna take a trip back with a friend hopefully and get some discount so right so somewhat successful on the finding things front not successful on the buying things front but for now i'm gonna head to the running shop to grab my nutrition bits so i'll show you what i pick up and then from there i think it's time to head back grab my bags get into the new airbnb and definitely have some lunch because i'm getting hungry certainly not on the uta checklist can't resist a sale though, can you? This is from Cos. I quite like the shorter, shorter fit here, but it's long in the arms. Another little long sleeve piece in the sale, 50% off. I like it a lot. Vibes. Couldn't resist. 40 pounds for those two long sleeves. That's an absolute steal if you ask me. Better run. The bus is here. What's happening? So we're here in the store and I'm not sure they've got. So we're going with the Norton. But it looks like they've got four gels left. Which isn't ideal. I'll have to ask. Team, we're having no luck today. They have no non calf Morton gels until Tuesday, which is not ideal. Oh, and I just came to a bike shop to see if they had any, and would you look at that? Close until Monday. Maybe I just have to get out of my brains on caffeine. Right, plan B. 
Let's go. Right team, so I went back into Pace, Pace Athletics, which is the running shop, and grabbed some, I grabbed caffeine gel, some bars, and then a drink mix as well, just to get me through tomorrow. Um, and then came out of the shop and overheard a lady talking in there to the, to the guy at the counter, and she's doing UTA, which is the same race I'm doing. So I got chatting to her and we're gonna go for a run together, which is fantastic. Way to turn a bad situation around, hey? Meet some cool people, plan a run. Love it. Right, don't really know what I'm gonna do now. I'm really hungry, so probably food. What's happening, guys? We're here at the char, the char rotisserie. Grabbing some lunch. I was gonna grab something and make it at home, but time's getting away from me and I often do this and then I end up not eating enough in the day. So I've got a chicken breast and two salad side things. I'm eating a lot more plant-based meals, but it doesn't mean to say I don't have meat because I really like it and it serves a purpose from time to time. So hopefully this will be delicious. All of the salads are amazing. It was hard to decide my indecisive nature, but I got some pesto rice and some veggie stuff. Yeah, looking forward to it. Here we have it, guys. Got our chicken, rice, and broccoli, but a bit, a bit more substantial than that. It's actually pesto rice with chickpeas and peas in it. So, plans have progressed and I'm definitely going to the Blue Mountains tomorrow and it's meant to be 8 degrees in the morning or so. Made a swift trip back to Lulu and grabbed that warm long sleeve so I'm a bit more prepared. picked up sushi roll it's five o'clock and they go on they go on sales so it's only three dollars great little snack and i need to eat more now i'm running 40k tomorrow it's going to be quite a few hours so time to fuel up if i can go well tomorrow after the week of training i had i've had i'm going to be very very stoked yeah i'm really looking forward to it i'm like a kid on christmas but i'm going to get back now have some dinner and then get all my stuff ready because it's a super early start so gang i am mid prepping for one hell of a day. So we've got our kit laid out here. It's actually full Lulu. We've got the Lululemon Fast and Free shorts, I believe. Uh, I think they're six inch, I wear medium. And then we've got the Dry Sense top. These are really, really nice, a large. And then I've got the one I picked up today, which is the Surge Long Sleeve Tee. Um, it's a bit thicker, real nice and warm. Then obviously the Fractal hat. And then moving down here, we've got our in gingy socks so these have little individual toes on every single toe and they are phenomenal if you struggle with blisters or sore feet or whatever give these a go they may be what you've been looking for then we've got our little bits for pre-run heart rate monitor water salt shoes anti-chafe sunnies to go fast sun god of course and then all of our fuel uh like i said i've got a few gels a few bars and then a drink mix. My last two Velo Forte bars, I mentioned these in my last video, they are amazing. So all of that, that will go on me obviously, but all of this is gonna go in here. This is my Salomon running pack vest. Love it, does everything you need it to do. It holds everything really well. And yeah, and then these are my shoes, the Ultra Olympus 5. So these are great super comfortable super wide as you can see that's a really wide shoe so there's loads of room for your feet to move around but saying that i don't find i don't find them very fast at all and come race day in five weeks time i want to be running pretty fast so i've actually got some new shoes on the way i've got the north face vective pro i think they're called very excited to try those they've got a carbon plate in them and everyone i've seen is absolutely raving about them so they're on the way. Obviously won't be here for tomorrow, but that's the setup. I think I've got everything. And then I'll take some other food like bagels and bananas and whatnot. And yeah, it should be good for a day in the mountains with a group of strangers. 
but no, for real, I'm really excited. And yeah, it just goes to show what being open-minded, just having a chat with some random stranger can lead to. So yeah, time to tidy all this up, have some dinner and then just zone out for a bit. It's been pretty go, go, go today. So keen to just chill. Yes, guys, just cooking up some dinner. Just got some leftovers um, from what I made last night, which is handy because CBA to cook properly, but super delicious, I'll show you. So we've got a few things here. We've got sweet potato and then like a three bean mix with onion, broccoli, carrot, I think courgette as well. Can't even remember now. And then this is tempeh. If you didn't, if you didn't notice, a fully plant-based meal. I do try and eat fairly regularly plant-based, like not all the time, as you saw, I chicken at lunch because I can and I like it, but I really enjoy eating like more plant-based foods as well. So yeah, every now and then, well, more like recently, quite quite commonly I'll have a plant-based meal. Um, actually bodes very well for my running as well because it tends to be higher in carbohydrates, just the nature of the foods, which is good. But yeah, I'm excited about this. Also got some beetroot, avocado, maybe a little bit of hummus. All delicious things about to go in my belly. And this Airbnb has got the bowl of all bowls. Look at that. Big bowl. happening so just smashed out a good bit of work catching up all things clients and it's now quarter past eight i'm just gonna go and have my final meal of the day which i have pretty much every day and then probably read for a bit and then go to sleep because it's a very early start tomorrow yeah but other than that i'll show you what i eat but before that let's touch on the third top tip for a successful rest day so we had nourish the body fuel 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 don't feel like you need to reduce calorie intake or adjust your meals or anything like that just because you're having a day off exercise. We had number two, we had stay active. Uh, don't just slob around, sit on the couch all day. It's not going to do any good for your, for your recovery. And number three, kind of links with number one a little bit, is hydration. I've been sipping on, trying to been sipping on water all day. I had some electrolytes as soon as I woke up. Probably gonna have another thing of electrolytes now just before I go to bed to ensure that I'm well hydrated tomorrow. But those are my three top tips for a successful recovery day. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna get that final meal. Probably one of my favorite meals for the day. It's a tough one. Between that and oats, it's really tough. But I'll show you it in just a second. 